Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Really. For, for this introductory um, video, I would like to um, invite you to my channel. My channel of um, IELTS Every Day. Um, it was a long time, of course, before um, doing the shooting. Um, I have a dream. I have a dream of helping of helping young Vietnamese like me when I was years before. Uh, having them uh, having them to to use to communicate with the world around and the world outside the country in a universal language as I am speaking now is in English. I taught about this subject long long time ago. I, I know what I should do, but the thing is, um, I was not ready. Now it is time. For me, financially or family or affairs, it's not ready, but I should do it. Um, because this is the moment. Um, I, heard, I heard a lot about the young level. They spend a lot of time learning. They spend money. They spend a large amount of um, their income, the fees in learning, but they have achieved nearly peanuts, zero. I should do something for them. I should do something to, to elevate, to roll, really, to, because you know, you cannot, everybody here, strangers, foreigners, American English, those come from native um, English speaking country. They can teach them, but they demand a high price or the high fees or, or any kind. You know, all those Vietnamese person should have a decent level of English first before joining them, you know. And my question is, how can a person with zero level, with a peanut, nothing at all, nothing in their, in their mind, um, attain a level, just a decent level to communicate and to use and to work in the English totally environment, you know. So that's the first point. The first point is the, the learning method. I have um, some reference here. Um, maybe the next thing that I do in my channel is life in Vietnam. What is life? I mean life is life in small towns, life in small cities. Um, nowadays, there are more and more foreigners coming here. They, they pass those large cities and they live in Saigon, they live in Vung Tau, they live in La Nang, Hanoi, maybe. And they speak Vietnamese very well, quite well, but do they the outsiders, they are not in this country. They know about the country. I would like to introduce the country through my eyes, of course, through my way of thinking, through my way of um, seeing things, noting around me. Because I was growing up here. Um, the way they row, the way they the way they make their earn, they earn a living, they make their living, they try to struggle, really the world struggle with their daily life. Understand that it is a communist uh, country. I, I, we don't talk about politics here, but you should put inside the context. It's a very burning subject, you know. So the outsider, what I would like to do is the outsider know a little bit more the real life, life in Vietnam through all the aspect, through all the aspect that I can, that I can do, that I can shoot with my videos. And that's it. Um, the third thing I will do in my, through my channel, in my channel is book review. What's that? Book review. Um, once again, my mind, I, I am a young boy. To me now, I am 34, 35, 36. I was born in 1984. I don't remember really me my age, but you know what? Book review is um, try to introduce uh, books, an uh, interesting book of course, to youngs, to Vietnamese that would like to acquire a uh, large knowledge, 
a basic decent knowledge, a sufficient knowledge to to what to to be successful to succeed in life. And you know what? As they don't speak the language, as you Vietnamese, you don't speak the language, don't speak the, the English language, of course. I know. Um, you are often lack. You often lack. You you stand behind. You drop back. New minds, very high income, very high influential people. They publish through books, through writing, through everything. Their mind, they they have beautiful minds, but you, as you don't understand the language, you, um, you have difficulties in knowing new terms, in knowing new affairs, in, um, in coping with the the world. So through book review, as I say, some um, influential authors who make contribution to the world, and I find it interesting. I would like to say, and I would like to um, give some kind of commenting um, on their books. And if they have, if you Vietnamese guys have a chance to acquire the book, and you will read and have the knowledge, okay? The fourth point I consider is an interesting point is the real, the real financial industry in Vietnam. What do I mean by that? Um, the real financial interest in Vietnam. Um, you know what? People talked about the underground economy People talked about the um, uh, parallel, the parallel um, economy, because of the corruption in the country. Uh, so, on the face, on the surface, you do everything you can, but the real thing, you try to curve the band. You, you try to bend things. You try to uh, arrange things so that you can achieve a have any kind of help. I will develop it more through my experience because I was a formal banker. I worked one year in one of the four largest banks in the country. And through all of my studying years, I had internship in four different banks. I seen everything through my eyes. The fifth point, number five, I will do is about some kind of financial causes. I try to give them the true causes that I've learned abroad. Back was um, I was in Australia, and I also learned that um, in France. And every day, I worked myself, I brought my own investment in the financial industry. So, um, I am up to date. So, I'll try to help you with a new guy. Um, some financial causes um, that I find uh, Vietnam, Vietnamese University, Vietnam University, don't give you. They give you just kind of very basic notion, but they don't have you through the day-to-day um, -day, um, or the real transaction. What, what are they, the real transaction? What are they? When you uh, graduate from colleges, do you have any notion left in your mind? Because you know that I speak Vietnamese and I understand that when you finish your courses, you have nothing left. You have nothing left. So it's a very burning question. I try to give you something that stay with time. That stay with time. Okay? And the sixth point I will do through my channel is about stock analysis. Because I, I am passionate. I am passionate about this subject stock market, the real stock market in the country, or how I view, how I see them, 
Through comparison, the stock market back in those days in Australia that I was and in Europe, and comparing to Vietnamese stock market, what is it? I should say the truth for those, also for you, through practice, you Vietnamese guy, you are my student, and also to the world where, where what? Where you try to put a step uh, inside the door, try to understand the Vietnamese market. You try to invest in this country, but you, do you know the real, the real market? How does it work? I should do through my Europa, my own demonstration. Okay? And so the last point, maybe kind of uh, in the future I give more, but for now I think of the seven point, the real investment in Vietnam. What kinds of real investment outside stock market? A uh, kind of um, real estate investment? Hotel investment? around me because I am lucky enough, luckily, I live um, in a kind of rich neighborhood. And I, I heard firsthand about the information, how they, they do the real business here. You cannot see um, a building like that and you understand that you apply and then you put coming uh, constructors and it, they construct no. How do they do? Should you give something to the government? Should you give something to the employee of the government? Who? Who should you contact? And that is the affair. And I think it is the same all over the world, but here, in a country, what is more, um, maybe you lose when they go. What do I mean by that? You will find more and more inside. Um, I think that's enough. So welcome to the ISL channels, to the IELTS Everyday channel. And I think, I hope that I have you um, in your journey to discover the world and to discover English for Vietnamese students and also to discover the country, the Vietnam country, to the foreigners and also to some, some passing time, a laser for you. Okay, thank you and see you soon.